Cash the jeweler. My partner is a Jets fan and swears we're in a rebuild. Um, that's stupid. And and you know, I've heard that from some dolphin fans and maybe even some media members that are writing it. There's no rebuild here, dude. That's the that's the dumbest thing that any dolphin fan could think of. Um, Mike McDaniel and Chris Greer don't have time for a rebuild, they'll get their asses fired. Um, their job is to win games and get into the playoffs and start winning playoff games. The offseason is not an excuse. The offseason was a fiscal decision that you had to make because if you're a smart enough fan, you, you're intelligent enough to say, well, okay, you understand there's a cap. You can't keep everybody. So they're going, as I've explained many times already, they think it's more important to keep the next wave of players, not this wave of players. They feel they can overcome this one. And so guess what they have to do now? That's their freaking job. Overcome Rob Hunt and overcome uh, Christian Wilkins. You can't. Too bad, so sad. You got to be held to that standard. That, that That's the part that there's a misunderstanding here. You know, and it's up to McDaniel to become a better coach, a much better coach. And as I've told you, this team will be better flat out if you just get a little luck and you stay healthy. But there's no rebuild going on. I'm not expecting less from the Dolphins. I need to see them start winning playoff games. So. I need a couple things to start falling into place. Health is one, and the other one's McDaniel. They have enough talent. Everything else is fine. You, you, it's up to you to coach it up now. That's all. Show me coaching. That's what I need to see from Mike McDaniel. I have not seen that from McDaniel. I don't see him adjust in second halves. At all. When they figured him out, they figured him out, and he can't, He doesn't have a counter. He must suck at chess, by the way. So I need to see improvement from within. You haven't done enough from within the last couple of years. You need to do more, but you need to stay healthy also. So if you're not healthy, I can't ask for too much. But if you're healthy, there's no rebuild. Okay? The last two years have been freakish with the injuries, and it has hurt the hell out of this team. I can't, I can't, I, I have to give that the break. I have no choice because those are facts. But if you're healthy, you're better than you were the last two years. So start winning playoff games. There's no rebuild here. And they should be held to the same standards that you were expecting. Get to the playoffs and win some playoff games. And if they're healthy, there'll be no more. There, there are no excuses. You're somewhat healthy. You're not going to be perfectly healthy because that's impossible. But if you're only missing a couple guys and not missing freaking eight, nine guys, your entire offensive line and or your entire secondary or whatever, you know. You, you got to start winning. So forget about there, there's there, there's nothing about rebuild here at all for the Miami Dolphins. That's the craziest thing out there. Anybody that says rebuild, that's an excuse. That's you trying to avoid your responsibility of making this franchise a winner in the postseason. This is the